Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Francesco and what I do in these videos is help educate you about productivity tools and resources to help you move forward with your productivity. So in this video, what I wanted to do is focus on the students of the world. Um, the ones who are doing the degrees, the ones who are doing um, all of those courses to really uh, better their education. Um, but a lot of students, and it's a very common trait in a student, that they are not organized or not coordinated. So I just want to make you aware, if you are a student, of Todoist, because Todoist is a task management tool. So, you know, Task management tool, that might sound scary because obviously, you know, there are lots of these kind of big tools out there. But essentially, it's your to-do list for on the go. Um, very similar to iOS Reminders and Google Keep, if you're a user of both of or any of them, um, or any of your Samsung Notes or anything like that. So it's a great way for you to create checklists surrounding specific topics or just generally make sure that you're kind of completing things throughout your day. So as you can see... Uh, here, this is what Todoist looks like on web. The, they have a iOS application, they have an Android application, and a tablet application for both of those. So if you're uh, a student, you can get on, onto both of those. They also have recently released a Windows 10 application, and also they have a Mac application as well. But if you're struggling to kind of get used to the experience, the web version is great. Uh, it does a fantastic job. So, as you can see, I've laid out my Todoist as a very simple student. So, I've indicated that I have three modules. So, what I recommend when people start is to start kind of uh, brain dumping a lot of your tasks into Todoist. And I recommend that to happen up here in the inbox section. But what I want to show you is to start off with and for future sessions is the ability to create uh, lists, uh, project lists. So if you click Add Project, you can create um, as many projects as you like. Uh, a great way to start is to add some of your module titles and maybe your module name, depending on how happy you feel about how big your project list title should be. Um, and as you can see, I've created three modules and three core areas. So for example, this would be for a student that uh, wants to coordinate all of their personal activity, their finance and football as one of their hobbies. So as you can see from here, you can start adding tasks, um, things like anything from uh, complete the EPI 200 coursework part one. You can set a priority as well. So if this is really, really important, P2 uh, or P3 or P1, so P1 is the highest priority, P3 is the lowest priority, you can actually have it as no priority at all and nothing will come up. But for, for this instance, I'll put a priority too. So you can actually change it by the flags here. One thing um, a lot of students struggle with is when they're adding tasks, they don't, they do not, they associate the, the finish date of the task. So I see this so many times. Let's say next Thursday is a deadline for this. They normally put this as a deadline and just set that there. So this itself is a really inaccurate way to create a task. So complete IPI 200 coursework. And let's say this is 2000 words. When you look at that, you want to, you feel quite depressed with it. So one thing that I highly recommend is breaking down your task. However, however big into four or five, six, seven or eight different chunks, uh, whether it's, you know, go away and research this, find an article in this or write a thousand words in one stint. It gives you that ability to complete specific tasks inside that. So it's kind of like crushing smaller targets and really owning the task. So, you know, it could be write 1000 words, uh, research the uh, EPI sources, and I could put that P3, and then write uh, 250 words, uh, and then P1, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you can break this down hugely. I would actually recommend breaking it down to when you will actually do the task. This is what people, a lot of people, students struggle with, is actually associating to the time you do it. So I, what I recommend is, you know, you might be doing it at 9 a.m. You might be an early bird could be tomorrow at 9 p.m. because you know you're in the library uh, and Wednesday at 3 p.m. because you're going to do an all-nighter. 
Um, so as you can see, um, you've started to get that kind of uh, coordination. You can either go to this project folder or you can click next seven day view and you can actually see these in line uh, according to your next seven days. As you can see here, I've already given these colors, but as you can see here, there's a little person has popped up versus one of these circles. And what basically this has give, given the ability uh, for me to do is actually share the project folder. So what I've done is I've shared it with two university friends in this case, uh, and I was able to share this folder with them. They can create tasks and actually assign them to me. So for example, if I, uh, if I said check the um, group coursework Facebook page as something that I want, Theo to do, for example, and I could associate that to Theo and that would go straight over to his uh, area. So that's a really handy piece of technology. You can add up to, I think it's, believe it's up to 25 people in a free chat, uh, in a free uh, project folder. And that's a great way to kind of assign people different tasks. As you can see, you can go into all of the project folders, which is really nice. Uh, you also have the ability to sort them by date, priority, name and responsibility. Uh, you can email all of the tasks in this specific project folder, but you have to have a premium account for that. So uh, I would check out premium, but uh, you know, for a student starting off with, I recommend uh, going freemium. So anyway, the guys, that's a really quick introduction of how to create some basic notebooks and also get started with adding some notes. I'm going to be doing some more videos on to do this for students. So please stay tuned. Drop me an email if you need any help. It's in the description. And I'm really looking forward to sharing a few more hacks with you guys as a student to really crush your uh, organization and projects. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. Keep studying. Make sure to have a great week. And I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.